Hey brothers in Christ, this is your sister Raven from Consider the Ravens Ministries, okay? Here to deliver you with a right on time word from the Lord. So, or other, otherwise known as a rhema word, prophetic word, okay? So if you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Raven and my function in the body of Christ is a mouth, okay? So I speak what the King calls me to speak, specifically words of encouragement, specific instructions and warnings. So if you are stumbling upon this video, the Lord is here to give you a warning. So this will be a warning, okay? So the word is Christian men, or as I will refer to you in this video and future videos targeted towards Christian men, kingdom men. Okay, so I, I put Christian because I was, hey, will they know what kingdom means? Okay, but I'll refer to you as kingdom men. So kingdom men, beware of Jezebel. So one, what is a kingdom man? A kingdom man is a man after God's own heart, dedicated to doing kingdom business on here, here on earth. So if that sounds like you, stick around, right? It's easy to throw the label Christian out there, right? There's a difference between, hey, I'm a Christian. I want I want to, you know, take on the label of a Christian versus like, hey, I'm here to serve King Jesus and build his kingdom on earth. So if you're watching this, you're a kingdom man. Okay. All right. Now, what's a Jezebel? I think if you've been in the Christian circles long enough, you've heard the na the word Jezebel it gets abused quite often, actually, but Jezebel. Okay. She was a wicked queen. You can find her in um, the book, First Kings, Second Kings. Okay, in the Word of God, in our Good Word, she was a very wicked queen. And then we get into the book of Revelations. All right, and it's Revelations two twenty. The Lord says, but I have this against you. He's speaking to the church, okay? That you tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality and food sacrifice to idols. So when I am talking about Jezebel specifically on my channel, I will be referring to it as, um, I'm talking about the Jezebel spirit. So a demonic spirit that is named after Queen Jezebel, okay? There's a lot of videos out there if you want to learn more about the Jezebel spirit. I'm probably going to find some and link some below because I'm not going to get to too many details on, on what characteristics of the Jezebel spirit, but it's primarily a spirit that seeks to control, manipulate, and it often does that through seduction. Okay, so where I circled the word as I was reading this scripture, the Lord had me circle a word. When he has me circle a word, is a focus point. It's seducing. Okay, so... The Jezebel spirit, beware of Jezebel spirits, all right? Demonic spirits influence people who are compromised, okay? So I said beware of Jezebels. A lot of people like to be like, you're a Jezebel, you're a Jezebel. Okay, well, it's the Jezebel spirit, all right? That's influencing people, working through compromised people, specifically Christian women, which is going to be what we're going to be focusing on in this word, okay? So... The Jezebel spirit seeking to control and seduce. All right, so real quick before I get into how the Lord actually gave me this word, the Lord did want me to say, okay, so King Jesus is doing a move. If you guys didn't know, the King Jesus is doing moves on the earth, all right? So prophetic people, we get the downloads from heaven. That's how it works. He's like, here, this is what I'm doing. Okay, now go tell my people. <laughs> Okay, so here I am telling you that's what I'm doing, all right? So God is raising up kingdom men right now, all right? Strong leaders for the kingdom of God, all right? So many of you, like I said, you're kingdom men, right? A lot of you who are watching this, you have been given the gift, because it is a gift, you guys, of kingdom marriage, all right? So if you've never heard of kingdom marriage, kingdom spouses, just it's not for you, okay? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Many uh, people who are given kingdom marriage promises are part of the fivefold ministry. So a lot of you kingdom men, your God is raising you up to be a pastor or a prophet or evangelist, teacher, apostle, okay? And he's going to give you a partner. Your Eve's coming in, your kingdom wife, okay? So that's going to be for some of you, all right? But Jezebels, what Jezebels do, the Jezebel spirit, like we say, right? We don't want to just go around, you know, calling people Jezebels because they can get pretty nasty. Remember, guys, the war, <laughs> the war is never against people, all right? The enemy, don't forget who the real enemy is. 
the enemy is the enemy. The demons are the enemy. Demons use um, people who <laughs> aren't actively seeking out a holy lifestyle, okay? So they're not the enemy though. But Jezebel, the Jezebel spirit seeks to take out kings. They target the kings, okay? I mean, they target a lot of people, but you're their main target. They want to take you out, okay? The Lord has something very powerful for you to do on this earth. You better believe that the enemy is going to be targeting you, okay? And so actually, this is coming to my spirit right now. So last night when I was backing up my car, I got in my car, I had to go go into town quick. I plugged my phone in and uh, my battery was at 91%. Okay, so the Lord speaks to me a lot through numbers. So no, not angel numbers. No, I don't practice anything new age, all right? This girl don't touch no crystal balls or tarot cards. All right, but yes, the Lord absolutely speaks to us through numbers. If you think that he can't, don't forget what a scripture is. It's a number, which is what 91 is. So 91 follows me around. I get chased down by this number and it's the Lord reminding me that I need to get under Psalms 91 protection, but also to tell his people, all right, that they need to be uh, getting under Psalm 91 protection as well. So if you're not familiar with that, Psalms 91, all right, in the good word, it is a prayer protection. You should be speaking that prayer over your life. Lord, hide me under your wing. Okay, so I quit, turn that in, it's 91, and then I turn on the radio, and it's a danger zone. So I am what they would call a singing prophet singing dancing prophet all right so the lord I'm part of the welcome committee for his second coming <laughs> right so he speaks to me a lot through music i do not endorse secular music at whatsoever but that's just how he gets his puzzle pieces to me all right i'm a puzzle prophet get puzzle pieces put them together deliver show you the puzzle show you the picture okay so 91 and then danger zone right away so the lord is saying that like yes a lot of you are in danger of this spirit right now like it is happening right now and you need to be praying that scripture psalm 91 over you okay all right, but how did he give me this word? All right, so like I was mentioning, I am a, I'm a singing, dancing prophet, okay? So I get a lot of my messages through secular music or just music in general, never endorse it, okay? So I've been getting chased down by the song Man Eater by Hall & Oates. If you guys are hearing that song, please comment below and let me know. Let me know if you're getting chased down by the song because that's gonna be confirmation that this word is for you. So I'm gonna read some lyrics for you, okay? It says, <clears throat> Oh, oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. She's a man-eater. I'd sing it for you, but I don't actually know the tone of this song. I've heard it so many times, but I can't get the rhythm down. Okay, so, and then it goes on to say, I wouldn't if I were you. I know what she can do. She's deadly, man. She could really rip your world apart. It says, oh, the beauty is there, but a beast in the heart. Okay, so man-eater. You know, every time the man eater, I want to start singing that Nelly Furtado, Furtado song. The man eater makes you put. So some of you might be hearing that man eater song. So if you're hearing the Nelly Furtado one, same thing, all right? So I hear that song and the Lord is automatically saying the Jezebels are out. The Jezebel spirit. Okay. So the Jezebel spirit is active right now. Is active right now. I've been hearing this song quite often and it's not a new song. Okay. All right. So then... The Lord really brought it home. So I was scrolling through the YouTube and the Lord speaks to me a lot through YouTube. He has control over my algorithm, all right? This girl surrendered, so he shows me what I need to see. So I've been getting this country song popping up and I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm not the biggest fan of country music, okay? So I'm, why is this country song coming up? He actually doesn't speak to me a lot through country music, but, and it was a Western feel, feel by Bar Bartel Union. Okay, so if you're hearing the song, let me know too. So I get, why is the song popping up? Why is the song popping up? So eventually I went and looked up the lyrics. I didn't even click on it. I said, I'm just gonna go check out these lyrics, see what's going on. Okay, reading through the lyrics, pretty much talking about a seductive woman. And even in the song, it talks about she's possessed by demons. She dances like she's possessed by demons. I said, ooh. So then I went to song tell. I was just looking up uh, the meaning behind the song, which is not too hard to figure out, but I do like to hear what other people say. So on song tell, this is what it said. It says, overall, Western feel by Bartel Union illustrates the allure and danger of an ign enigmatic, can't even read my own handwriting, woman who embodies the essence of the West. The song serves as a cautionary tale warning against getting too deeply involved with someone who possesses a captivity yet potentially harmful presence symbolizing 
symbolized by the devil. Literally says by the devil. I said, yeah, I know why I'm getting this song now. Uh, hashtag Jezebel spirit. Okay. So if you guys are hearing any of these songs or, or anything, um, just let me know. This could be the way the Lord confirms. He uh, speaks to us in a, a, a lot of different ways, you guys, okay, <laughs> to get his messages across. All right. So as I'm trying to kind of piece this together, because I don't just want to jump online and be like, beware of Jezebels. Run, hide. <laughs> you know, <laughs> should you get very specific? And so the Lord was actually very specific regarding this word. Okay. So you are going to be targeted by the Jezebel spirit in one or two ways, okay? So, and the, the, it's seducing, all right? So this spirit is going to want to specifically cause you men to fall into sexual sin, okay? What is one of the biggest, if you look in the Bible, what's like the biggest downfall of men? Like lust, sexual sin, okay? Like that takes them down really fast, you guys. It takes you guys down really fast. So what we want to do is we don't want you to be taken down. Why? Because you have kingdom business to do down here. God's calling you to advance the gospel. We need you to 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 stay focused on the mission and seductive, seducing women who are being compromised or who are being influenced by the Jezebel spirit are going to be a threat to you advancing the mission, okay? I'm not... I feel like I'm like pointing at you. I'm not. Sergeant Raven knife hand coming out. I'm not going to knife hand you, okay? I really do care about you guys. <laughs> or else I would not be doing these words. All right. So directly. So how are they going to target you? Directly. So popping up in your inbox. Okay. So seductive, saucy women that are directly contacting you. Primarily through social media. Now, they could be showing up at your doorstep. I mean, that could really happen. That's going to be really challenging for some of you guys. Have a plan. If a seductive woman shows up at your doorstep, do not answer that door. Do is, I gotta go. <laughs> you have a plan now if it happens. But for most of you guys, they're going to be popping up in your social media accounts. Okay, so... The, the Snapchat, the Tiki Talkie, the what are we missing? Instagram, I think is a big one. Facebook, however they, okay, they're, they're gonna be, they're gonna be contacting you through your social media. And I know this because I've talked to a few kingdom men as I'm getting this word and they're seriously getting Jezebels popping up in their inbox. I think one of them's name was, had something to do with joy and they were a really seductive picture. And this kingdom man was straight up like, talking about how yeah I know she's coming in to steal my joy <laughs> so he got the winning uh the he knew he knew what was going on and he's like no like delete don't accept the friend request that's what the Lord is saying okay you're getting saucy women showing up you guys just don't accept it don't accept it okay it's not being mean to to reject somebody's friend request especially if you know that there's you know bad motives behind them wanting to be friends with you it's not rude to do that okay it's taking protective measures you need to take protective measures okay and then so they're going to be directly and a lot of these could be the lord was saying some of your exes so women that you've known in the past uh women that you have been sexually active with that are going to be trying to lure you back in to meet their needs okay say no <laughs> say no <laughs> say you don't have to be rude, all right? We never want to contend people be rude. They're on their own journey, all right? Pray for them. You don't have to tell them you're praying for them. Pray for them and then do what you got to do. Do what you got to do to protect your soul. Do what you got to do to protect your soul, okay? So directly. Okay, a big one. A big one that the Lord was really pushing is indirectly. Indirectly. Now, this is primarily going to be on social media again, okay? So... Women specifically, now specifically Christian women. So women who are promoting themselves as a woman of the Lord who are taking very suggest suggestive and seductive photos. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay. So Christian women can be influenced by a Jezebel spirit. If you're a Christian, it doesn't matter man or woman, men can be uh, influenced by the Jezebel spirit as well. Any Christian can be influenced by any demonic spirit if they are compromised. What does it mean to be compromised? It means you basically got one foot in the world, one foot over here. There's a reason why the Lord says be on fire. Like don't be compromised. Because when you're compromised, it's like door open, go ahead and let anything come in to influence you. 
Okay, so no, I don't believe that they're possessed. If they're downright possessed by Jezebel spirit, then women were never, so they never gave their life to King Jesus, okay? But a lot of them have. Here's the thing. A lot of these women are, you know, saved, go into heaven. Because guess what? You can get saved. Compromised Christians still make it to heaven. God just has a really hard time using them to get other people into heaven. Okay, there's your definition of a compromised Christian. So a lot of these women that are calling themselves Christians online are saved. I really do believe they're saved, but the thing is, is they're, they're compromised. Okay. And they're being influenced very easily by the Jezebel spirit. A lot of them do not know this. They have no idea what's happening. A lot of them are not trained in spiritual warfare. A lot of them are just, you know, basic Christianity. They're, they're not really filled with the Holy spirit to understand what's going on. It is actually quite sad. Okay. So, um, what the, he came here with, okay. So if you're following Christian women and in their bios, their quote in scripture or their, I'm, I love Jesus. Okay. But you scroll down and you're seeing some pictures of lots of cleavage. Okay. Or lots of glute, lots of um, peach progress. You guys know what I'm talking about. They're going to show your glute, their glute progress off or any kind of position, whether or not they're fully clothed, um, because I'm not going to get into a whole thing on modesty and, you know, what's acceptable, what's not. Um, I'm not, I'm not legalistic like this girl, she don't wear denim skirts. Okay. <laughs> but a lot of times when it comes to seduction, it's not always even how much of your body is is covered as much as how you're positioning your body and a lot of what you're doing with your eyes and your mouth. So that's what I want you fellows to be looking out for is these Christian women, you know, if they're obviously posting a lot of pictures in their bikinis, you should just probably unfollow them because as a Christian woman, I do think that... Like I said, um, I don't want to get too crazy about it because I know there's like Christian athletes too. Maybe this could be a whole nother video. Like how much skin is acceptable? Christian athletes, like they're, they're showing off their six pack. I don't necessarily think they're trying to seduce you. I think maybe if you're pulled in by that, then you should maybe not follow that kind of person. But we need to use a lot of wisdom when it comes to, uh, when it comes to modesty. But if they're posting a lot of bikini pictures just to p post a picture in their bikini, I would say that that's probably a red flag. I would personally, because as a Christian woman, I would never, there's certain parts of me that are only meant for my husband to see, okay? And that's how, how them ladies should be treating their bodies as well. As a woman, we shouldn't cover up our beauty. We shouldn't try to hide our beauty, but we should not be trying to seduce men with our beauty if it's in our control if it's in our control, okay? Some of you guys don't need to follow any women at all because you're just so, you look at a woman in a in a denim skirt and you're ready to rock. You got you need to take that to the Lord, okay? That ain't her fault. That ain't her fault. But you got a lot of women out here, all right? Thinking that they done gone Bible, but they look like they're about to go wild, if you know what I'm saying, okay? So test the fruit, test the fruit, guys, because there are Christian women, especially... All right, Raven's gonna ramble for like 30 seconds. I didn't have social media for about 10 years. I got rid of social media in my early 20s and I was like, I'm never going back, all right? The Lord actually took me off of social media because I thought I was gonna be a fitness influencer and he's like, Raven, you ain't inspiring nobody. You just tripping people up. And I said, you right, you right. I'm gonna be done with that, all right? So I was like done with social media, never was gonna go back. The Lord's doing a big move. He's always doing big moves and he's taking back social media. He's taking back territory, all right? He wants Christians on social media because that's where the people are at and he needs, all right, it is what it is. Here I am. So he decided that uh, he wanted me to get Instagram and the ticky talkie. And I said, please don't make me do this. <laughs> please no. So I got the Instagram. And so I'm going to follow different people that I've just heard speak. So they either have like podcasts or YouTube channels and I go to their Instagram. Now this is specifically for women. Okay. Go into their Instagrams, you guys, and they are posting pictures that I'm like, they look like a Playboy bunny. And they're they're showing off skin too. And I kid you not, there was, and this isn't to shame them or anything. I'll talk about it in a second, but it was it was very surprising for me. I was very I wasn't like, I was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's what I mean. I was like, 
you this is why the lord says test them by their fruits because people can speak like they might have the gift of speaking they can speak a good you know this this or that they know scripture but if you're going to their personal page this is their personal life that they're sharing with the world and they look exactly like the world especially women that are trying to seduce men as they're trying to talk about modesty but they are not walking in alignment with modesty guys unfollow delete unfollow delete because the thing is is a lot of you guys are like what well, they're saying they're a christian this must be acceptable no it's not modesty as a christian woman modesty is a journey it really is like as a christian woman i feel like it's like a journey for modesty and the thing is what the lord was saying he actually had me wrote this down he says okay modesty is a journey they're sharing these women are sharing their journey with the world you do not need to follow their journey <laughs> You do not need to follow their modesty journey. You don't. It's not beneficial for you to be following their modesty journey. I came across a picture of a woman, a Christian woman who has one of like the leading podcasts, I think spiritual podcasts in like America or something. And when I listen to them talk, I'm like, wow, this is this is amazing. The Lord's using using these women, right? Or this woman. And I went to her Instagram page and I was, oh my gosh, whoa. And one of the pictures, she was doing a very, very seductive pose, especially when I say like, think of eyes and mouth. You can oftentimes see the Jezebel spirit working through people through the eyes and mouth because their eyes are going to be pretty much like, they're going to be looking, looking at you like, what is it? giving you those come and love me eyes if you know what i'm saying all right very seductive eyes a lot can be a lot can be seen in a person's eyes you can often if you guys didn't know this you can sometimes see demons that are in people's eyes when people are possessed by jezebel spirit you can oftentimes see it online it's in a lot of celebrities and stuff in their mouth like what they're doing with their mouth so if they're taking pictures and they're eating a lot and they're kind of like giving you the eyes while they're eating they're being influenced by a jezebel spirit and they don't even know it I know that can kind of seem like picky, but like those are just specific examples, okay? So this woman's doing a very provocative pose, you know, like modeling. And I'm not against modeling at all. I think there's just, as a Christian, you have to be really safe with it, like really guarded. And like doing the mouth thing, doing the really seductive eyes. And in the caption, it was a scripture about burning for the Lord. And what the Lord said to me right in that moment is he said, she is making men or making kingdom men burn for her, burn in lust for her. That's what he was saying. He wasn't condemning her, but he was just saying like, this is a problem in the body of Christ. Social media is, anyway, so what I'm trying to say, fellas, is the Lord wants you to go through your social medias, go through your contacts, and it's time to do a cleanup. It's time to do a big, big cleanup. A lot of you need to start going unfollow, delete, unfollow, delete. Do not even follow pages that are gonna be tempting for you, whether it's directly or indirectly, because most of these women who are on high platforms probably aren't gonna be DM you. No offense, fellas, but do you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't mean that by you looking at their pictures of them um, going through their modesty journey, that's what we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it their modesty journey, um, it could cause you to fall into sin could cause you to fall into sin okay and we're just we want to avoid that we want to avoid that at all costs okay so taking very very protective measures on what you are viewing and thinking like okay this woman she's saying she's a christian but also to the lord want you guys to know this um hold on unfollow delete come the, the come and love me eyes more like come and lust me eyes but you guys know what i'm talking about some people, you got girls sending you Snapchats right now that are giving you them eyes and you know, you know when you know. And here's if you don't know, pray for discernment and then you will know. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that women did that, but the Holy Spirit just let me know. He's gonna let you know what's up. If you have a true heart, fellas, if you have a true heart to live in purity and to live a holy lifestyle, the Lord will help you out. Okay, I'm here to tell you, he will help you out. The problem is a lot of you don't want, they don't want, you don't want to give this up fully. You like, okay, this is coming up. So this is a thing. This is why he's having me talk about that. Some of you guys are using the excuse to follow some of these provocative women because you're saying, well, they're a Christian. Look at their bio. Look at their bio. Look at, it says Proverbs 31 woman. Look at them strong arms exposed in the whole rest of her body too. 
you guys the lord knows all right clean it up but the lord also wants you to know that you don't need to go around trying to correct a lot of these women as well that for a lot of people um like i said they're on their modesty journey okay the lord will correct them or he'll use godly women to do it you don't need to be up in the comment section telling them calling them mean names or calling them jezebels and stuff okay i mean if the lord specifically has you do that it's probably going to be a woman who's directly contacting you and you're going to do that in a private matter we're never called to like embarrass or shame people in public like that's not what we're supposed to. we got we got a lot of discernment ministries exposing people and stuff right now like that is not a kind thing to do we're not supposed to do that and as i said a lot of these women they don't they don't even know what's going on because a lot of them are very compromised and they're more hyper focused about building their platform than they are about anything else and they don't need to hide the thing is is as i'm looking at these women i'm like yeah i bet a lot of people are clicking on your videos just because of how beautiful you are and there's nothing wrong with that if you guys are familiar with queen esther queen esther got her position because she basically won the beauty contest so god can use people's good looks for his glory absolutely 100 110 percent right but you don't have to compromise and be seductive. There's a there's a big difference when it comes to. Sorry, I'm rambling a lot. I think a lot of you men have like, you're you're unfamiliar with some of this stuff because I wasn't planning on saying a lot of this, but there is women are allowed to be beautiful. They can wear makeup. A lot of that is personal convictions, even down to the clothes they're wearing. It's totally okay to be beautiful and to like you know, to show your wife off, like, look at my beautiful wife. It gets, it gets dangerous when any kind of seduction comes in or trying to promote um, sexuality because your wife, so when you kingdom men, especially those of you who have a kingdom marriage, when your kingdom wife comes in, there are specific parts of her, specific um, looks, those I love you looks, those are only meant for you. Those are only meant for you. So your wife can be as saucy as she wants to be with you. She doesn't need to be saucy like that with the whole entire world. Okay? That's your, she's your gift. She's your gift. And you, you don't have to share certain parts of her with anybody else. And that includes the sexy lips, the, the, the come and get me eyes, or certain parts of her body. And that's not in a controlling way. Like, woman, put you, you know what I mean. Like, you don't want to hide your wife's beauty, but there's certain certain aspects of her that were only meant for you, okay? And so respect, uh, this is good. So respect other men's wives. So if you're like, but I feel rude, like unfollowing and deleting them. Okay, no, think about it like this. If your wife was going through a modesty journey or your girlfriend, would you want a bunch of dudes checking her out and lusting over her and doing naughty things that they shouldn't be doing after looking at pictures of her? no make you sick right okay well then don't do that to somebody else's wife because if it's not your wife it's somebody else's so unfollow delete okay if anything is a temptation to you what does the lord say in, in his good word flee from temptation especially sexual temptation that's a number one thing get out get out of town whoa some of you actually some of you probably need to just delete your social media accounts some of you, the Lord might just be calling you to delete some of your social media accounts, okay? But protect yourself. Protect your your future, your current relationship if you're married right now or have a girlfriend and your future marriage, okay? Because I'm going to let you guys know something from a female perspective. I, my kingdom man, I got a kingdom man, okay? And I would never stand for him following pages of seductive women. Why would he need to do that? Because by following it, you're supporting their behavior as well. And I would never want him to support that. Does that make me a jealous woman? Absolutely not. This girl's confident, all right? <laughs> I'm sure I got some insecurities too. We all do, right? There's, and it's okay to have a little bit of healthy jealousy in a marriage relationship. But the thing is, it's not out of jealousy. It's because I have a standard. I have a standard. And I... I like I said, I wouldn't, when you follow somebody is follow a page, follow something, you're generally like giving them a thumbs up and supporting what they're doing and their content, right? We follow Jesus Christ because we're like, heck yeah, I support what you're doing. I'm going to follow that. Okay. Don't follow people who are compromised. Okay. Wait until after they go through their modesty journey and they figured it out. And then we're like, I'm going to follow you now. But um, I have a standard and I expect my kingdom man to hold the same kind of standard. I will, to give you an example. If there's lots of men out there, now I'm back on social media, I'm seeing a lot of things that are, oh shoot. <laughs> okay, 
there's a lot of kingdom men or Christian men out there who have, you know, a scripture in their bio and they're probably saved. They probably had a real encounter with Jesus Christ, but they're like posting pictures of like their, like their V shreds. And is that what that's called? Like they're not wearing a lot of clothing and I can tell that they're trying to get attention and probably because they're still working on their identity in the Lord and they're struggling with some, you know, self-esteem issues. And, um, I'm absolutely not going to follow their pages. <laughs> Maybe when they like come into their office of like being a pastor and they're like, yeah, modesty is cool and I don't need to do that anymore. And then maybe, but I mean, there's a ton of, there's a ton of people out there to follow and stuff. So a lot of voices. Okay. But that's just too, guys. Um, you're like, what this woman, she, you know, she has such great insight. Well, I'm sure that there's a good godly man out there who has his clothes on that you don't want to um, touch on or woo, <laughs> that could give you just as much wisdom. Yeah. All right. Yes, and so the Lord says, don't ever make your wife feel like she isn't enough. That too. So the things you're following, and if you don't think that women don't look at what you're following, okay, I just told you I do. I absolutely do, and I'm not a crazy psycho person. I'm just, I'm an investigator. You tell me you loving the Lord doing this, but you're following everything that's of the world. Either you haven't cleaned up your account in a while, or you are compromised, and there's a problem, okay? You're kingdom men. You're not going to be compromised. You're going to do something legendary on this earth for King Jesus. Amen. Stop acting like the world. Okay. And don't make your wife or your girlfriend feel like she isn't enough because I'm gonna let you guys know right now. A lot of girls will never tell you that they they do not like you following other women because they don't want to be that girl. They don't want you to think that they're jealous or that they're not cool. All right. So I'm going to speak on their behalf. No woman's cool with that. No woman's cool with that. If you're in a relationship with a woman, she don't want you following some woman who is showing off her body. She don't. She don't. I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm speaking on her behalf. You're welcome, girlfriend. You're welcome, all right? Because here's it is, is we can't be keeping up with the Kardashians, us Christian women. It's not even, God ain't even calling us to do that. Most of us, we couldn't afford it if we wanted to, all right? <laughs> so... Don't make them feel like they're not enough. Don't make them feel insecure. You need to be making your women feel like they're the only woman on earth, all right? Make other women jealous of them because of how much you love them and how much you're committed to them. I literally seen one time, I want to say it was Rich Froning. Okay, so here's a good example of like an athlete showing skin. Okay, so Rich Froning, fittest man on earth, right? Crossfitter, loves the Lord and you know, he's working out. He like had this, the scripture, but I never thought that like his poses were like seductive or anything. He's just an athlete. He gets hot. You got to work out. Right. But anyways, I remember way back in the day when I did have social media, like 2015. So this could be different now because I don't follow Mr. Froning on the Instagram. Okay. But I remember he only followed his wife. He had like millions of subscribers because he's like the fittest man on earth. He only followed his wife. And I said that alone, that get it rich get it <laughs> but i'm not saying you guys have to do that but i thought that was a good example like that woman that woman did not feel like her man was trying to she felt like she was enough okay she didn't have to compete okay so let's run through some numbers all right real quick real fast <laughs> i'm going too long i'm sorry okay so how how do i do this raven how do i keep my mind pure all right well the song um the time I heard the Hall & Oates song, Man Eater, the last time I heard it on the radio, it was 2.36 p.m., all right? So in Greek, Strong's Concordance, Strong's Concordance is a book for us prophets to put our puzzle together, okay? It's a biblical book, points back to Jesus. It means to change, transform. You, by renewing your mind in the word, we know that's because the word says that, it transforms your mind, okay? So yes, it is possible to not want to like hump on every woman you see that doesn't have a shirt on, all right? So, you'll get there okay it's possible jesus is a miracle worker i know i'm joking around it but you, a lot of you guys really do struggle with uh i think i have to call it pornography met okay it is possible for you to find freedom from that if nobody's ever told you that it is there's a lot of teachings from good godly men out there i won't get too far into that but it is possible okay you don't have to burn with lust forever it happens by being transformed by the word of god okay so i also see the number 119 like re on the regular that's a number the lord gives me quite often and it's in reference to psalms 119 9 which is talking about purity it says how does a young man keep his ways pure and it's by guarding it according to your word so getting in the word of god that's going to help you live and walk in purity 
okay like real purity not like the not like the purity culture that makes you feel like you're in bondage and if you step out you're gonna go burn in hell but like actual freedom in the lord okay okay um oh we already talked about that okay how to identify oh da, 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 da. oh because when i was putting this word together it popped up like i think vlad if you guys don't follow hungry generation vlad he talks about the jezebel spirit and um he's just a great teacher vlad if you're looking for a kingdom man to get inspired by vlad don't know how to say his last name because he's not from this country and i'm so american i can't pronounce anything but hungry generation vlad and his wife they pump me up all right okay so western feel so the song that helped me confirm this word when i screenshotted it, it was three minutes 18 seconds long so the lord led me to proverbs 318 and he did want me to have read out of my battle bible to remind you guys that we are in a real war you need to get your swords out kings okay so proverbs 318 she is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. So this is talking about wisdom. All right, so how, how can I do this? Okay, pray for wisdom. Pray for wisdom. The word says if you pray for wisdom, he will give it to you. <laughs> he gave it to King Solomon, right? He'll give it to you too. Lord, supernatural deposit of wisdom. <laughs> All right, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to talk back to her. And he, wisdom, you know, um, is knowing how to what was my word there now I lost it definition of wisdom okay it's gonna help you navigate through situations so you don't have to follow a rigid book but if like some woman shows up on your doorstep lord what do I do wisdom's gonna help you navigate that situation so you don't fall into sin okay all right yeah so pray for wisdom the lord says be of be men of great wisdom in a world where people a lot of men have a lot of knowledge you know worldly knowledge be men of great wisdom pray for that he'll answer those prayers okay all right so this is gonna be for all of you that are on the kingdom marriage journey so if you know you know all right it's not gonna be new for you this is gonna be confirmation so um the second to last time that I heard the Hall of Notes song, Man Eater, all right, was at 8.33 a.m., okay, and it's from Strong's Concordance 8.33, which means to advance, so to move forward. All right, so the Lord is saying, if you are playing around with Jezebels, um, allowing women, playing around with women who are influenced by Jezebel spirits, this will prevent your union from moving forward because we got union from the guy who sang the western feel song his last name was union so i knew the lord wanted me to talk some degree about unions so this is going to be your god-ordained marriage union if you want it delayed you want it set back you want to prevent it from advancing forward keep entertaining Je women with jezebel spirits do the right thing unfollow delete clean up your communication in this hour this would actually be if you're a kingdom man if you are a kingdom man on the kingdom marriage journey go check out my other words um, that I just posted a few days ago talking about this will delay your kingdom marriage because I'm specifically talking about entertaining counterfeits specifically talking about um, fornication so falling into lust with somebody else and how it will significantly delay your union we don't want that to happen we need these unions to come together so that we can get some souls saved amen okay so real quick real fast <laughs> I the Lord um, Prompt. Oh, I want to tell you this too. So I have this bookmark. So this is Prince Augustus. He's going to be a prophet too. Well, he is actually already prophetic. The Lord told me that when he was born. And he's uh, launched NASA, launching to the stars, right? He's my kingdom man. That I'm raising a kingdom man, which makes me, makes me kind of nervous. Pray for me. Okay. So the Lord prompted me to not run ads on my channel. So he told me to turn my ads off. Okay a personal conviction for me and it said that I was going to uh, promote Christian businesses small Christian business on my channel for free okay so that's what I started doing so if you're a kingdom man you have a Christian or a small business that the Lord is having you launch go check out my video where I talk about doing free advertising and I have more of the details pretty much you send me your stuff and I do my best to to advertise it on my channel so we're gonna start with one that I thought was was good because when I do these Christian men my, my vision when I do these videos, if I'm going to be spe specifically speaking to, to kingdom men, what I want to do is I want to highlight a kingdom man. So we did, Vlad, Hungry Generation, and then I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to let you guys get something. We're going to see how well this works. This might crash and burn. I might have to <clears throat> adjust sales. Okay, so 
my brother Justin started up, he's a kingdom man, okay, and he has a really powerful testimony. So if you want to hear his testimony, I've been trying to get him to post it online for quite some time. So say, Justin, Justin, in the comment section. But um, he's overcame some Jezebel, women influenced by Jezebel spirits, okay. So he started up a his own business. So it's a t-shirt business. And he actually came from a background of being delivered up from witchcraft. So he was into, you know, some pretty spooky stuff and he had to get rid of like a lot of his apparel when he came to the Lord Jesus. And I think, you know, like a lot of us, we look at some Christian apparel and we're like, man, that ain't, that ain't my style, right? <laughs> Cause that's just the thing as Christians, we can have different styles. That's fine. Right. And so he started up a t-shirt business and to glorify the Lord. And I, when I, when I look at through it, I think like hot topic for Christians and he actually sent me this shirt. So if you guys can see this one, it says consider the Ravens. Okay. And it has a Raven on it. So he sent this to me when he found my channel, which I thought was very kind. And then <laughs> with this, he had this shirt on there. Can you guys see it? It says Jezebel's are for the dogs. Okay. And then it has a scripture reference, second Kings. All right. So this t-shirt size large. Okay. If you... This is how it's going to work. All right. I'm going to give this t-shirt away to somebody. I'm going to do a community post of that t-shirt. The first kingdom man that comments in, in the comment section, and you have to tell me who your favorite male Bible, or what I say, your kingdom man. So a kingdom man that inspires you. So it could be pastor, prophet, evangelist, maybe it's your dad. Okay, let me know who it is and then give me your mailing address. Okay, if you feel comfortable giving me your mailing address. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna comment back on it and I'm gonna say, got it, okay, to you. And then that way, if you need, you wanna go delete it so nobody sends you love letters or something, <laughs> sends you some weird stuff in the mail, that's totally fine, okay? And, uh, and so then I'm gonna send it to you and then I'll post who won it so that you guys will know that somebody got it and, and you don't have to do that, okay? But I'm gonna try to do that. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I might come up with something else. But I do wanna try to do some kind of giveaway from a small business each time or um, from some kind of ministry. That's kind of my goal on this. All right, so yeah, I think that's all I have. So yes, men, beware of the Jezebels, okay? Don't be nasty to people who are being influenced by the Jezebel spirit, but guard yourself, okay? Guard your soul, guard your spirit, guard your future relationship in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, and also guys, I am a ministry. So if you feel led to support my ministry, I do have the payment options below. It's always a prompting of the Holy Spirit. You know, God loves a cheerful giver. If you don't feel cheerful about donating into my ministry, do not do it. <laughs> Simple as that. Amen.